A local state lawmaker is charged tonight with theft in office, money laundering, and corruption related to the use of campaign funds. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katie Usen. And I'm Megan O'Rourke. Jordan Burgess was in Columbus today when Clayton Lucky turned himself into authorities. He has tonight's top story. It sounds like something from one of those negative campaign ads. A state representative accused of using campaign money to fund trips to casinos and stores. But this is much more serious than an attack ad, and it could end up leading Clayton Lucky from the state house here to the big house. A man used to making the laws, now accused of breaking them and facing the possibility of dozens of years in prison. We all learn this as children. You don't cheat, lie, or steal. And when you're elected official, that goes even tenfold. And Mr. Lucky just never learned that those are some tenants in life that we all go by. A visibly shaken Clayton Lucky didn't say a word to our camera as he turned himself in at the FBI office in Columbus. Moments after getting into this car in handcuffs, he collapsed while being booked into jail. Lucky was indicted on 49 counts, alleging, among other things, that he transferred $130,000 in campaign cash to his personal accounts and used the money for things like cash withdrawals at several casinos and trips to various stores. Cub Foods, Kroger's, Elder Beerman, uh, Macy's, Walmart, um, the kind babies are us, toys are us. Investigators say the fraud continued even after Lucky was first questioned about it back in March. That he then went after then and submitted more false documents. It's, it's, almost, uh, it's almost unbelievable. According to the indictment, Lucky was on the wrong side of the law from the beginning, forging the name of his supposed campaign committee treasurer when he first filed to run for the state house in 2006. But it wasn't until the investigation of now imprisoned Representative Carlton Weddington over payday loan contributions that it was discovered Lucky allegedly accepted campaign money but didn't report it. But for the Weddington investigation, uh, this would not have been uncovered. The Franklin County prosecutor wouldn't comment to us whether other state lawmakers were also under investigation, so it remains to be seen whether Lucky will be the last one to land in hot water. In Columbus, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.